What up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, we're switching out the spindle on my Civic hatchback. Um, I just got the new spindle, I believe yesterday. And uh, today we're gonna be spending the day switching out this boy right here. I mean, it's been kind of dangerous. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, I've been riding on two lug nuts and um, yeah it's kind of dangerous but i just go to work and come back home i don't go nowhere else and uh so i finally bought a new spindle so we're gonna change it out and yeah so this is the two lugs i'm talking about the reason why i couldn't replace these two was because the teeth on the rotor or the spindle when you, you know it got stripped I guess I was, you know, doing it too much or too hard or whatever, but I guess it was old or whatever, but, you know, it got um, stripped out, the teeth, so I tried to buy new lugs and put it on, but I just couldn't, you know, so now I have to switch it out for a new one. I bought this one off of a guy on uh, Facebook Market but for like 20 bucks well about two for 40 i got it still spins still good i guess only thing is the ball joint ball joints not that good but i mean i'm gonna swap b series one day soon anyways so i'm not really tripping i just need something better to hold my tires and wheel right now that don't really know how to do you know the spindles or how to take it out it's fairly easy um, all you do is if you're gonna take the spindle and the disc brake out and the brake calipers it's fairly you know self-explanatory take out this <clears throat> take out the screws and take off this there's two screws behind I believe it's 14 and then you take out you know the lug nut up here or not lug nut but the nut up here um, and then there's this low control arm right here and it should pop out well you gotta take it off the axle too so that's why but you know let's get to it and take these up so there's a screw right here this one right here you have to take this one this one right here and there's a bottom one just below it uh, if you can see it right there and then this one both of them have to come off so that the spindle like the brake caliper can come out and then you can start on the the uh, axle nut and the brake disc this is much easier when this is out so and then you could you know take this one out too but yeah let's start on this nut right here here this axle nut without the rotor spinning spinning sorry oh shit i usually put a flat head that's big enough to fit 
this hole right here. Uh, I do this all the time. Always worked for me, but you know, there's a more professional way to do it. But uh, I'm not like at a shop or anything, so I'm gonna use whatever I got with me. And then, you know, I'm gonna take it off. All right. God damn. God damn. Gotta use a gun. take this one out and well it's kind of hard to film and work on the car so I'll just do it without recording it and show you guys really easy so I took it out already just break right here and uh, as you can see there is no focus there's no T anymore <laughs> and that's why I gotta change the whole spindle I could just take this out I bought a, I bought a part for it at pick a pull for uh, like 30 something bucks 20 something bucks. I could just switch this out but uh, I might as well just switch the whole thing We'll see. Hopefully, I don't have to. I might just switch this out since the ball joints look still kind of good on this one. So, I might just switch this one out. Alright, let's see what happens. Let's go. Most of the bolts out. Uh, I got this bolt, that bolt out. Probably take this one left. Right here. But, um, yeah, you're probably going to need these, these U, uh, wrenches, whatever it is, because you're going to have to use it on these. Highly recommend it because you don't want to hit it with a hammer. You're going to fuck up the, you know, the, uh, nuts there. So it goes on like that, and then you screw it up like that. But then you just use a flat, I mean not a flat, a uh, screwdriver, or not screwdriver, a wrench. My bad, I'm all over the place today. Just use a wrench, put it under here, and then screw until it pops up. So I got it out guys, this is the old one, this is the new one. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, allergies. But uh, I'm gonna try to change the ball joints because this one's pretty shot. So I'm gonna try my best to take out this ball joint and replace it with this one. So I took out the old ball joint and put it on the new spindle since the old ball joint was way better. So here is the the old one it's all cracked and stuff this one is still fairly new and fairly good so we're gonna put on the spindle now and put everything back all right guys so pretty much got everything back on bolted on and I'm just gonna well except for the caliper but I'll put that on and I'm gonna put the tire back on and I will be test driving and see how it feels Guys, everything is back in its rightful place, tightened down, made sure that everything's good. Now I gotta throw back on my tire and wheel. 
old one, old spindle, old bolt ball joint, gotta clean up. And yeah, pretty much daily life of an EF Civic build. Comment, like, and subscribe if you wanna see more content. I'm slowly building this car up. So, you know, it takes time and it's not perfect now, but it'll never be perfect. But uh, yeah, future plans uh, with a swap. Just got done with the paint job. So after I swap it, you know, maybe a couple years from now, I might paint a different color. I have a color in mind, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe. And see you on the next one.